what is up? It's your great bitch here, DGP, back again with another episode of Pager Keys. And in this video right here, we're here to talk about potential moves going on to the draft. You know, the draft's coming up uh, in about a couple more days. So before we get into that, man, be sure you guys hit the subscribe button, hit the like button on the video, man. And also check the description, man. I've been uploading, I've been streaming a lot of NCAA Football 14. We're going to have some uploads coming soon to the YouTube channel. Like I said, we're going to start putting some gaming back on the channel, getting back to the roots. But we ain't going to forget, you know, what we're doing here, you know, with the whole Patriots news. So without further ado, let's get into it, man. So first things first, they said Bill Belichick. Patriots have been making calls to get into the top 10 to potentially draft a quarterback like Justin Fields if he slides uh, if he uh, slides down in the draft, according to Tom Pelissero. Um, so right now, the 49ers, according to uh, Rappaport and everybody else, they're saying they're, they got it down to Mac Jones and Trey Lance. You know, we're going to, we know the Jets are probably going to take Zach Wilson. Trevor Lawrence is probably going to go to the Jaguars. So that leaves Justin Fields available earliest at number four, as it looks like right now. And the Falcons, they're thinking about taking him. They're also thinking about taking Kyle Pitts. But the Patriots, you know, Kraft say, you know, what we've done in the past, we got to change. We got to evolve. And Belichick, you know, he's going out there spending money for agency. Um, you know, also Albert Breer, you know, he was on a podcast, uh, you know, Dan Patrick show. And he talked about that, you know, the Patriots are looking to trade up in the four range, especially though if we get to the seven, eight, nine range, they talk to the Panthers to see if they can move up in the still in the top 10, but not at the number four spot. So what does that mean for us and Justin Fields? I honestly think that can mean that Justin Fields really is a New England Patriot. Um, you know, Patriots know that Cam Newton is not going to be the answer for within the next two with a Within the next, I guess, three to five years, Cam Newton is not going to be the quarterback of the New England Patriots. He's more of a stop get, try to get things going. So having Justin Fields out there with the Patriots, I like it. I actually like it a lot. Um, I said I was okay with drafting Mac Jones, and that's only if he fell to number 15. With the 49ers moving up in the draft, and they really like Mac Jones, I would take this Justin Fields, you know, bring him in for a year, have him learn under the Cam Newton, have him learn the system, mold him a little bit, and then you can get better and improve on that. Um you know, we talk about doing a couple of different things in the draft. If you remember 2012, I think it was at the 2011 season, where our defense was just terrible. It was horrendous. You know, our offense had Gronk, Hernandez, had these guys. But, you know, we were bad in, on defense. That was probably one of the worst defenses we had, you know, in, in the dynasty history of the Bill Brady, Bill Belichick dynasty. So what did they do? We went out, we drafted Dante Hightower, and we drafted Chandler Jones in the first round. And also, too, we traded up to get them. It wasn't like we had two first-round picks and they fell to us. No. Belichick said, we have a glaring need. This has to be fixed. I cannot fix this with the scraps that I have, and I have to get better. And that's what he did in free agency this year. He said, I can't keep BSing. We're going to have to go ahead and get John Lewis Smith, get a Hunter Henry. You know, we're going to have to just spend money on these wide receivers because I messed up on a Nikhil Harry pick right now. I messed up. So we're going to have to try to improve that. And so now he sees Justin Fields. He sees he needs a quarterback. You know, everybody who said it's the Belichick system, Belichick can change all this stuff, you still need players in that system. And having a guy like Justin Fields get in there, also, too, a potential opportunity that we can trade up for is not just Justin Fields. They're looking at Kyle Pitts as well, man. And so if they go ahead and get Kyle Pitts, man, um, I'm, I, I do not see this happening at all, you know, with you, uh, you know, paying Henry, paying Janu. Although Kyle Pitts, you know, he has the ability to play a little bit of wide receiver. He's just going to be a mismatch at tight end. He is the best player in the draft probably. Um, you know, position-wise, um, best tight end, clearly, and he's probably the best player in the draft. So um, a guy that I think they're really looking at is Justin Fields. And if, you know, maybe you can't trade it to number four spot. And, again, this won't be a trade that will happen before the draft. This is going to be a draft day trade. We're going to have to see how the draft falls. But I think if we get to that fourth pick with the Falcons, it's going to be interesting because they can go ahead and draft Kyle Pitts if they want to. Or they could go ahead and trade it to another team, depending on what the offer is. But I think if they get Kyle Pitts at number four, be careful because the Bengals are picking at five. The uh, Dolphins are picking at number six. They're not going to trade out those picks. Suo, Jamar Chase, Devontae Smith, two of those three guys are going to go in that spot right there. And then you're looking at seven, eight, nine. You're looking at that Panther range right there. If Justin Fields make it out the number four overall pick and he doesn't get drafted by the Falcons or whoever trades up to get him, I honestly see Belichick is going to throw the farm at whoever at the seven, eight, nine range and go ahead and get Justin Fields. And I'm on board with that, man. I'm on board with Justin Fields being a New England Patriot. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section below. Do you feel like that this is the right move for the New England Patriots? You know, I think this is the perfect move. You know, get a guy, you know, people said they're not high on him. I think he's the second best quarterback in the draft. You can argue that he's potentially the first, the best quarterback with Trevor Lawrence. Um, but I think he's the best uh, second best quarterback in the draft. Get him underneath Cam Newton, have him mold him, and then everybody's gonna look and be like, here's the Patriots. We're back again in action in about a year or so. So that'll be it for the video, man. Like, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Catch you next time, y'all.
Peace.